Hi guys, I'm here in my kitchen this afternoon and feeling like I might need a little coffee to help me get through the day. I have a good deal more work to do and I'm slumping, I'm afraid. So, I thought now would be a good time to show you guys um, how I make my coffee and how I put um, baking soda in my coffee. So I use a pour over, it's my favorite way to make coffee. So I'll get that started. Um, I, I post sometimes <clears throat> um, about baking soda in my coffee on Facebook and invariably I get lots of questions about how much baking soda do you use? Why do you put baking soda in your coffee? So, the, and the whole reason I started doing this was because a long time ago, well over a year ago, I um, saw a Facebook video by someone else, a live that they had done, talking about putting baking soda in their coffee. And what it does is it neutralizes the acidity in the coffee. So if you have trouble maybe drinking coffee on an empty stomach and it makes your stomach upset, that's probably the acidity that's doing that. So theoretically, putting a pinch of baking soda in your coffee may help that to go away. Maybe not, it may be for other reasons. Maybe you're sensitive to, um, to the acid in the coffee in general. But the baking soda does, it's, it has a neutralizing effect. And in the video that I watched, now I don't have these here to show to you today, but in the video that I watched, she actually had testing strips where she tested the acidity of her coffee before and after. And she tested it before, and of course it was highly acidic, but she tested it after she put a pinch of baking soda in it, and it was completely neutralized. That's pretty amazing. It doesn't taste, you can't, it doesn't make it salty. Some people are afraid that maybe it would make their coffee taste salty. It doesn't taste salty. Um, I think it kind of gives it a smoother flavor because it tames the acidity and makes it a little more mellow. I think it's great. So I keep a little tiny mason jar of baking soda in my cabinet above where I make my coffee. And whenever I'm um, making it, which I think it's about ready to go here. Well, let me take care of this. So when my coffee's ready to go, I just, I literally use my finger. I don't even use a measuring spoon or anything. I just take it and I get about that much. So not very much. I just get about that much and I put it in my coffee and I take a little stir and just stir it around a little bit. Now, the other thing that I like to do with my coffee is I usually put collagen in my coffee. Now, a lot of times, in the mornings when I make coffee, I use unflavored collagen, but if I make it in the afternoons and I want to um, have a flavor, maybe, I like to use the Perfect Keto flavored collagen. And if you've followed along with me uh, for any length of time, you've probably been exposed to this because I love it. So there's chocolate flavors, there is salted caramel flavor, there is vanilla, um, and there's also flavored MCT powders and they're wonderful. So I just take a scoop. I don't usually use a whole scoop, but part of a scoop and put that in my coffee as well and give it a good stir. So there you go. Next time you make coffee, try a little pinch of baking soda in it and tell me what you think. Do you think it tastes any different? Um, if coffee generally bothers your stomach, does it make a difference if you use a baking soda? My papa, <clears throat> I grew up in East Tennessee, and my papa was a farmer, and he, if his stomach was upset, he would just eat a tablespoon of baking soda. Just plain, just eat it. I don't think I could do that. But baking soda is good um, to neutralize things like that, and that's why I put it in my coffee. Let me see if there's, um, so this would make it okay for someone with a stomach ulcer. I don't know because I've never had a stomach ulcer and I'm certainly not a nurse or a doctor to say yes or no to that. So I can't give a definite answer um, on that one, I'm sorry. Shelly says she's trying that. All right, good, good. All right, that's all. I'll talk to you guys later.